Hey guys, looks like the um, the BMS has finally come in. I uh, ordered it maybe maybe three weeks. Kind of lost count. Uh, this is basically the package that came in. The box that slid it out. Um, the thing is solid. To give you that, it's heavy. Screws in the back. We're gonna actually go into it and have a look at it. Uh, the only difference between this one and the other one I have is this one's rated for 80. The other one's rated for 40. Yeah, there's your balance leads and your temp sensor actually plugs into the side versus it's not um, soldered directly to the board like the um, the cheaper one I have set up right now. This one has been through hell and back and I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to say it survived. Um, it's been over volted, under volted, dropped. Um, I rode and this uh, connector came loose and it shut off didn't damage it I've had a battery uh, balance lead fall off a battery and it didn't dam damage it it was bouncing around there uh, all around it's good I mean I've even had it through the heat waves and it was like so hot you couldn't touch it but it didn't fry and I'm the king of frying these things so uh, it survived I think what I'm going to do though is I'm not going to cut this one didn't have the um, the ring leads on the end it's just bare wire what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up cutting this and put some ring leads on it. That way I can just bolt them together to these. I don't want to cut these off. They're decent. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, do a quick video and uh, pull this apart and see what the uh, see if we can get into it. Hopefully, got a half decent view. So this has got some weight. You know, one thing I would do. These are fake. They're just basically two-way taped because I can rock them back and forth and you can feel the tape underneath. I mean, if they wanted to save money in production, they could paint that on versus pressing out aluminum and uh, two-way taping it to give it that raised look to it. I mean, that's that's just kind of dumb. doesn't really serve a purpose. Regardless, let's uh, pop it open and see what the insides are like before I uh, send it through its paces. I'm curious to see if the um, the heat heat spreader is um, pasted or if it's just got some kind of um, <clears throat> um, heat spreader like uh, the the um, this stuff here. About to find out if there's anything on it. Plus, I want to see how this sealed up. Um, is there an O-ring in it, or if it's something else? These two on the end are very small. Yeah, this might just not just pop open like I'm hoping it will. Probably not. Give me a minute to at least get it started. Yeah, just a heads up. Uh, digging into this is not as easy as it look. You're not going to go in through the bottom, okay? You're going to go in through the top, and you're going to lightly get your screwdriver in there and slowly pry it up. You're going to go all the way around a couple of times because it's not just going to pop up. And uh, I don't know what it's attached to. Oh, there we go. So it's layered. It looks like the uh, they potted it. Yeah, they did it actually. They potted it, but then what they did is they didn't uh, didn't pot the fets. <laughs> yeah, that'll keep you from getting in there. Maybe that isn't potting. Maybe that's just a cover. Give me a minute to take a look at it. Nope, that is potting. So at least they went through the trouble of making sure the uh, fets didn't get covered, and then they uh, potted over it. Except for this bleeding over the, uh, this kind of makes no sense here. I'm just going to remove that. I want to get clippers and remove the, um, potting has gone over top of the, uh, heat spreader. And it's not going to work very well when this in the way.
It's definitely potting. But like I said, this one's not going to work very well when the pot's over top of it. At least it's better than nothing. So no complaints there. I mean, it's watertight to a point. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen one, somebody try to pull one apart, so... I'm not going any further than that. This thing costs 90 bucks. You know what? I'm going to take these off and I'm actually going to use well this one goes deep. Oh yeah. I want to take them off and put a little bit of paste. Well, nah, forget it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. If I find it isn't uh, dropping enough heat onto this heat sink, I'll open it up again and uh, put some paste on it. Yeah, let's see how much fun it's going to be to get this thing back together. <laughs> well, sorry guys. I hope I was hoping it would have been a little bit more spectacular than that. I wanted to see the um, the parts on the board. All I got was the fats. That sucks. But what we'll do is put this one through its paces and uh, I'll do a follow up on it. It's uh, I'm not going to do a video of me installing it on the battery. It's stupid. Cutting the leads and soldering and welding and everything else. Uh, basically all I have to do is I don't even have to take the um, the balance leads off the battery. I just basically unplug it and plug it into this one. Same bloody thing. I just have to make sure I plug the um, the wire in for the temp, or else it probably won't even work. But yeah, if you have to take it apart for whatever reason, just pry it from the top. Um, the bottom is pretty much fused right to the rubber. It's galvanized, or rubberized, or whatever you want to call it, for uh, weather. Later, guys.